Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, anyone with an internet profile knows about trolls, people who post inflammatory comments online, often anonymously. It's becoming an increasing problem, one that largely goes unpunished. A recent report shows less than one in eight reported internet crimes have resulted in charges. For most celebrities, it's a sad yet expected part of the job. Just this week, American actress Leslie Jones was subjected to some particularly abusive racist and misogynist hate. She's successful, sassy and has recently been saving the world from the paranormal. Oh, hell no, the devil is a liar! Get out of my friend, ghost! Ow, that's gonna leave a mark! The power of pain compels you! But now she's fighting a much more personal battle. This week, hackers infiltrated the actor's personal website, replacing it with racist slurs and apparently personal information. She took her website down, but it's back up again and she's on Twitter with her normal comical zeal. It's no laughing matter, though, and she's not the only one. Michelle Marie faced a barrage of online abuse after she guest-hosted the Twitter account at Island. She introduced herself as a mother, blogger and plus-size model. But within minutes the bullying started, many using anonymous accounts. You are fat and ugly. If this is Ireland now, I'm not visiting anymore. One of many abusive tweets. The site says it was forced to block 115 accounts from countries all over the world. Twitter has defended the platform, saying safety is a top priority and that it is investing in tools that allow Twitter to identify and take faster action on abuse. So why were these women targeted in apparently orchestrated campaigns of attack? Is it because they're women, black, have a powerful platform? I've been speaking to Michelle Marie and she described how the abuse started. Yeah, I mean, I took over the account about 8 a.m. on the Monday morning and by 8.30 a.m. the abuse already started coming in. And at that point I'd barely said much about myself. Um, and there was just immediate kind of anger at the fact that a black person was representing an I Irish account. What sort of abuse were you getting and how did it make you feel? There was just a barrage of just hate. I can't call it anything other than pure hate. Everything from, you know, go back to Africa, you don't belong here, um, to just, just pure vitriol. It didn't seem to be Irish people that were actually tweeting this abuse saying go home. What do you know about the people who were sending you these tweets? Yeah, as far as I'm aware from the people who interacted with the trolls, they did seem to be coming from America mostly. Um, people who were just pro-white and seemingly purposely sought out their latest target. Now, we've spoken to those who run that Twitter account that you took over mm -hmm. for the week. They say that the abuse you got is unprecedented. Why do you think you mm -hmm. were singled out? I think being um, black and um, plus size and, you know, being English but running an Irish account, I was an easy target for the people who want to be, you know, um, racist, sexist, xenophobic, whatever it may be. You took the decision to leave the Twitter account for a bit and then come back. Mm -hmm. Some people might say, why not just walk away, step away from Twitter and the abuse will mm -hmm. stop? I was very tempted to. At the end of Monday, it had completely taken its toll on me. So I was very tempted to just, you know, throw the towel in and walk away. But I felt like that that wasn't OK. That would be letting the trolls win, and I really didn't want that. At the moment, this is very much an online phenomenon or a Twitter phenomenon. Mm. Do you worry that this sort of abuse will lead to black women feeling worried about speaking out uh, on any public platform? I think overall it's yeah, shown that 
we can't just freely speak anymore, but there are people out there who are just wanting to um, tear us down. So I think in some ways that makes us more determined to keep speaking, but we need to go into it you know, mindfully, knowing that if we put ourselves in those kind of positions of power and positions of strength, that people, there are going to be people who feel threatened by that and are going to go out of their way to try and tear us down. So what needs to be done? Does Twitter need to do more? I do feel Twitter should be more accountable. I mean, as far as I'm aware, they have suspended some of the worst um, accounts. But I still feel that these trolls and these people are just getting away with it because there's no true consequence for their actions. And I really feel that, especially as it seems so rife on Twitter particularly, that they should try and you know, step up to it a bit more. Michelle Marie, thank you very much. Thank you. I've been